Taiwan may have become one of the biggest supporters of the Ukrainian Air Force. Former Pentagon official Tony Hu said Taiwan gave the Ukrainian military its surplus Hawk anti-aircraft missile batteries. According to Forbes, whose comments confirm previous claims about a US brokered deal between Ukraine and Taiwan. It is stated that Taiwan's MIM-23 homing all the way killer missiles, as well as their launchers and radars, will complement additional Hawks donated to Ukraine by the United States and Spain. The Ukrainian armed forces can now deploy up to 15 Raytheon Hawk batteries, each with at least six launchers with three missiles and associated radars. At the start of the full-scale war, Kyiv had about 50 SAM batteries, mostly S-300s and other Soviet models. According to the publication's calculations, Hawks could make up a third of the Ukrainian Air Defense Forces' weapons. Although the weapon is more than 60 years old, it is simple, reliable and highly mobile. The Hawk is easy to upgrade and works well against slower drones, cruise missiles and manned aircraft. Its munition is also compatible with the US-Norwegian NASAMS air defense system, which Ukraine also operates. Last summer, US officials negotiated with their counterparts in Taiwan to buy back about a dozen Hawk batteries from the 100 or so launchers that Taiwanese forces began decommissioning in 2015. At that time, a large shipment of Hawks were intended to help Kyiv resolve a looming crisis as the Ukrainian air defense forces moved towards the inevitable exhaustion of its S-300 missiles and BUK SAM batteries. Since then, Ukraine has integrated a wide range of foreign missiles, launchers and radars into its air shield. The more different SAM systems Ukraine operates, the more different missile stockpiles and production lines it can use to arm those systems with replaceable missiles as they fend off near-daily Russian missiles and drones. Dozens of countries use or operate Hawk batteries. Ukraine should be able to supply hundreds of missiles with or without direct US involvement, Forbes notes. It is added that the Hawk is not in the same class as the best Ukrainian SAM system, Patriot which has a range of up to 160 kilometers with an onboard radar homing system. The Hawk can strike at a distance of up to 50 kilometers or so, homing in on energy from a grounded radar reflected off an air target. The main drawback of this system is that its radar is susceptible to jamming. However, this can be solved by integrating older missiles and launchers with a better radar from NASAMS. A senior police officer warned Tuesday of calls for more rioting in Amsterdam, after dozens of people armed with sticks and firecrackers set a tram on fire Monday night as the city faces tensions following violence last week targeting fans of an Israeli soccer club. Olivier Dudel, of the Amsterdam Police Force, told a court hearing that, we have signals that there are calls for similar unrest in the west of the city. Police said the fire Monday was quickly extinguished and riot officers cleared the square. Images online showed people damaging property and setting firecrackers. There were no reports of any injuries. Police said it was not clear who started the unrest and whether it was related to what happened last week. Some rioters could be heard on video shared on social media using slurs against Jewish people. Police noted the tense atmosphere since five people were treated in the hospital and dozens detained Thursday following a Maccabi Tel Aviv Ajax match. Youths on scooters and on foot went in search of Israeli fans, punching and kicking them and then fleeing to evade police, according to Amsterdam's mayor. Pro-Palestinian demonstrators were banned by local authorities from gathering outside the stadium. Before the match, Maccabi fans also tore a Palestinian flag off a building in Amsterdam and chanted anti-Arab slogans on their way to the stadium. There were also reports of Maccabi fans starting fights. Dutch police announced five new arrests Monday in their investigation into that earlier violence. The suspects are men aged 18 to 37 and are from Amsterdam or surrounding cities. Four are still in custody. The fifth has been released but remains a suspect. Earlier, police said that four other men who had been arrested last week would remain in custody while the investigation continues. Two of those are minors, a 16-year-old and a 17-year-old from Amsterdam. The other two men are from Amsterdam and a nearby city. 
Police said they have identified over 170 witnesses and have taken forensics evidence from dozens. Prime Minister Dick Schuff said they were also examining videos posted to social media. Schuff was meeting with community leaders Tuesday afternoon to discuss anti-Semitism. Reports of anti-Semitic speech, vandalism and violence have been on the rise in Europe since the start of the war in Gaza, and tensions mounted in Amsterdam ahead of Thursday night's match. The mayor has banned all demonstrations in the city and declared several parts of Amsterdam risk zones where police can stop and check anyone. D. Uzans were detained on Sunday for taking part in a pro-Palestinian demonstration in central Amsterdam that had been outlawed. A small demonstration was ended by police Tuesday outside Amsterdam City Hall during a debate about the unrest, Dutch broadcaster Nas reported.